In this video, I'm going to work out three different examples of how you would go about solving a system of linear equations by using the elimination method. This elimination method basically means that you are going to eliminate either your x terms or your y terms, and then you would be able to solve for the other variable, and then finally plug it back into one of those two original equations and find whichever one you originally eliminated. So with that in mind here, looking at this first system of linear equations here, you're going to first look and see if maybe your x's or your y's will already fall out right away. And in this first example, that's what we have right here. We have a positive y and a negative y. All right, if I were to add both of those, those y's are going to be eliminated right away. So we always add our two equations going down and those two are going to be eliminated right away. Adding here, I'm going to have a 3x is equal to adding going down, I'll have an 18. I can solve this equation for x, divide both sides by 3, x is equal to 6. So I have part of my answer at this point. Now at this point, I can either choose the top or the bottom equation to plug that x back in so that I can solve for my y. So I'm going to choose the um, bottom one just because it's going to be a little bit easier there. I've got an x minus a y is equal to 10. I'm going to replace that x with 6. 6 minus y is equal to 10. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. I'll have a negative y is equal to 4. If I divide both sides by a negative, I will have y is equal to negative 4, which is the second part of my answer. Because um, this is a system of equations and I've got an answer for x and y, that means that if I were to graph these two linear equations, they would cross at the ordered pair 6, negative 4. So that is the solution written as an ordered pair to this system of equations. All right, now on the second example, again, I'm going to look at those x uh, terms and those y terms, and, and I'm just going to see, well, will anything cross out right away if I add them? And the answer on this one is no. However, if I take a look at the 2x and the 2x right here, they would fall out if one of them was negative. So sometimes you're going to need to either to the top equation or the bottom equation um, make the numbers um, you know, multiply them by something to make them fall out. So I'm going to choose to multiply this bottom equation by a negative 1. I will distribute it to all of those terms on the inside. Okay, now on this uh, top equation, nothing is going to change. So I'm going to have a 2x minus a 5y is equal to a 22. On the bottom equation, because I'm choosing to multiply it by a negative, I'll have a negative 2x and then a plus 3y, and then a negative 6. Alright, so now I am ready to do my addition down and see if something is eliminated. So 2x plus a negative 2x, the x terms on this one will be eliminated. If I do a negative 5 plus a 3, I'm going to get a negative 2y, and then if I take 22 minus 6, I'm going to get 16. Divide both sides by that negative 2, I'm going to have a y equals negative 8. So on this one, I happen to have found y first. Okay. Now on this, I ne again need to plug it back into one of those two original equations. Um, and in all honesty, I don't know that it's really going to make a difference which one I use here. So let's just go ahead and use that bottom one. 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. I'm going to plug that negative 8 in for the y. So 2x minus 3 times a negative 8 is equal to 6. Multiplying those two negatives there, I'll have a 2x plus 24 is equal to 6. I can subtract the 24 from both sides of the equation, and then I'll have a 2x is equal to a negative 18. And then when I divide both sides by 2, I'll have x equals negative 9. So then there is my second answer. So for the final answer to that system of equations, I will have the ordered pair negative 9, negative 8. Okay, again, with this being a system of linear equations, if those two lines were graphed, they would cross at a negative 9, negative 8. Now for our last example, 
All right, we're going to be taking a look at this one. All right, again, looking at those X terms and Y terms to see if anything falls out um, right away. Nothing's going to fall out right away. Um, looking again, are, is one of them positive and negative? Could I make it positive and negative and it fall out easily? No. So what's going to happen on this one is it looks like I'm either going to have to choose my X's or choose my Y's and then multiply both the top equation and the bottom equation by... Um, two different numbers that will then make them multiply out. Okay, so I've got a 5x and a 2x right here. If I multiplied the top by, say, a 5, and I multiplied the bottom by a negative 2, then these two x's would fall out. Okay, so I think that's the way we're going to go here. So let's multiply that top equation by a 5, because 5 times 2 will give me a 10. And then if I multiply the bottom equation by a negative 2, Negative 2 times 5 is going to give me a negative 10. All right, so I'm forcing it to set it up so that those x's will fall out. Okay, so rewriting those. Now, I've got to be sure and remember to distribute that 5 to all three locations and distribute the negative 2. Okay, so when I do that, I will have a 10x minus a 35y is equal to a 15 distributing um, the negative 2 on the bottom, I'll have a negative 10x and then plus 8y and then negative 2 times that negative 6 is a 12. Okay, so now I'm ready to add going down. That negative 10 plus the positive 10 right there is going to cross out. Okay, now I'm going to have a negative 35y plus an 8y. That's going to give me a negative 27y is equal to, adding going down there, I will have 27. So y then is going to be a negative 1. So on this one, I have found y first. Now again, plugging this back in, you can choose that top equation, you can choose the bottom equation. It really doesn't matter which one. Let's choose the top one on this one. Let's do 2x minus 7y is equal to 3. I replace y with negative 1. 2x minus 7 times that negative 1 and then equals 3. So negative times negative there is going to be positive. So 2x plus 7 is equal to 3. Subtract 7 from both sides of the equation. 2x is equal to negative 4. That will make x equal to negative 2. All right, so final overall answer will be an ordered pair written with the x term first, negative 2, followed by the y term. So the overall solution to this system of linear equations is the ordered pair negative 2, negative 1. Definitely, thanks for watching. Uh, three nice little examples on how to go about solving a system of linear equations using the elimination method. Um, if the videos are helping, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also share with your friends. Thanks.